Hello everyone, welcome again and today we will learn and we will see the complete roadmap of Java holistic development. So how, what are the tools, what are the technologies are required to become a holistic, de holistic developer into Java, uh, Java domain. So first we will learn what is a holistic developer and then we will discuss about the technologies. Okay, so in this slide, in the overview, uh, this is a complete overview of this presentation. So <clears throat> what we will learn into this complete tutorial that will be what is a holistic developer, what is a holistic Java developer. So we will see what are the tools and technology come under the Java section that become uh, that help us to. Uh, become a Java developer, holistic Java developer. What are the backend things? What are the front end things? What are uh, what kind of database and what is the database things over there? What are the IDEs that we can use over there? Project management tools and project deployment tools and the conclusion. So uh, let's move here. So what is a holistic developer? So the terms holistic developer refers to someone who is proficient in both front end and backup development. An application developer basically build application from as from its scratch to until it deployed. It means someone as a developer who know everything as a from front end to back end. Like uh, someone who can design, who can write the code into the HTML, who can design the pages, who can send the request, a uh, request, uh, can uh, handle the server side programming, and he can manage the database transactions. Uh, and API things, these kind of uh, the developer known as a full stack developer. <clears throat> Specifically, if I talk about the Java, so in Java, we need a Spring Boot and many tools and technologies that we will discuss in the upcoming slides. But uh, someone again who is a proficient into the uh, like uh, full stack development into the Java, like someone who is know the complete end-to-end -end technologies of the application like for example i'm working on the web application so for the web application i need to know the backend uh backend technologies of java like a spring boot hibernate and uh, uh, you can say the rest apis to postman and th there are many tools many things are available over there but uh, as well as i need to know the front end so currently uh, like we do not have uh, like java doesn't have capability to design the front end so we'll use some third party things like html css react.js angular.js lots of things are there and uh, the back end the database and other ids and tools so mm, now let's move to the roadmap so first what if you are uh, fresher and going to learn things and into the java and you want to become a holistic java developer how you can start the thing First, uh, for the backend, you need to learn the core Java. And first, in the, in, 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 in the core Java, I will discuss like uh, terms like uh, you need to understand the basic concept of object oriented programming language, string operations, and there are three classes into the core Java. You have to be familiar with this three class the collection framework, the database transactions, the data structure, and many important uh, like features are there. So, you need to know all the core uh, Java things uh, and why we are calling it a core java and uh, why we need it if we have a framework because if we are using any advanced framework in java you need to write the business logic into the core java and spring boot hibernate jsp servlet all these uh, technologies or frameworks are built into the java so you should have a good knowledge about the core java then only you should go for other also java is upgrading the version again and again so currently i think 18 and 19 versions is there but after uh, like there was a major change after java version 8 so you should understand those changes and those syntaxes and what are the new things over there so you, you should basically know the things after that just move to the jdbc actually the jdbc is going to help you to connect your application with your database currently we are using hibernate and uh, like jpa other things are there but the jdbc is the basic one where you will learn lots of things like you have to create the custom queries you have to create a database connections um, and you have to manage the connections over there so you should have to like to code uh, to get a good expertise in hibernate and um, jpa you should know the jdbc and after that we have a servlet like you can move into the servlet you can move into the jsp JSP is something like that you need to learn because uh, while you're working with a complete application, 
uh, while you're writing HTML code on the HTML page, JSP will help us to handle the responses. Like in JSP uh, file, we can write the HTML code as well as Java code. So it will help us to handle the responses that is coming from the server side. Uh, another thing is a servlet that is a uh, like uh, in, 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 in Java domain, it's the technology that's going to handle the request and response. This is a server side programming. So you should have a basic or uh, like I should say like good knowledge about the servlet to handle the backend. Another thing we have a, like what are the these are the basic technologies for the backend and these are the advanced frameworks that we are going to use to manage the backend that is currently using in these days so hibernate orm and jpa as the things that will help you to connect the database this is the replacement of jdbc you can say and there is a spring framework so spring boot is there spring mbc is there spring security is there core mbc is there uh, core spring is there so these are these frameworks going to use as per the requirement of the application so basically if you know the servlet and if you know the core java it will be easy to understand you to go for the spring framework so this is the replacement of servlet now let's come to the rest api in spring boot so uh, like uh, if you are working with jsps or like something some technologies uh, that are working with the java that's good but if you want connect your application with third party applications like if you want uh, third party technologies like if you want connect your uh, backend with react js or angular js then you need a rest apis or any other technologies like let's uh, let's, let's 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 take an example of enterprises application where the application must have a, a mobile application and the web application as well as so we are not going to create the backend again and again for what type of application so what we do we just create a backend um, rest apis in, in, in a single time and we can access that those apis from the mobile application from the web application from the desktop application any kind of application so for that we need to create a rest apis and a spring boot and that's really easy and some of sample projects are available over the code one as well you can explore those project over there Spring security uh, like uh, spring security or you can say that the JWT security is there to provide the secure to secure the application like whenever the session is created and whenever user going to log in it will create a secure key after that only the user can access another like next uh, APIs or keys from the application. <clears throat> now if we come to the front end so what are the things that come under the front end that you should know to become a full stake Java developer so html css is the very basic things after that you should know the javascript or like uh, i will i should say here it should be a type script the advanced modern javascript you should know css framework after css you should go for the bootstrap as well because uh, bootstrap make uh, the job very easy like they have a pre-built components are over there, pre-built classes are over, the, over there that, that we can apply and um, perform the styling over there. Next thing, you should know one of the language for the front end, like it should be a, one of the JavaScript framework for the front end. It can be React, it can be Angular, it can be Vue. So it's not compulsory to know all these th three uh, framework, JavaScript framework. You should have a knowledge of basic uh, modern JavaScript. And after that, you can move on to the React or you can move into the Angular or you can move into the Vue.js. So that one of them will be enough. Now, <clears throat> how the things are connected over there. So these the information that user going to store, uh, enter any information from the application, the data will be stored, always stored into the database. So you should have expertise in one, any, any one database. Like it can be a MySQL, it can be a MongoDB, it can be a post, uh, PostgreSQL, SQL, or it can be Oracle also. Oracle is not available in this slide, but you can consider it as, as an Oracle as well. So there are two types of database, uh, this, um, like relational database or non-relational data, database. <clears throat> After that, uh, the IDE, which IDE you should have expertise, uh, like most of the IDEs are same. Uh, like uh, if I talk about the backend IDEs, you can write the backend code into the Eclipse, STS, VS code and other tools are also available. But mostly, most probably the Eclipse is most usable code into the industry, uh, IDE into the industry. So you should have a knowledge about the 
Eclipse and how can you operate the Eclipse? How can you edit the plugins over there? How can you install the uh, like uh, new uh, softwares into the Eclipse uh, to make it more rich? And it should be a web support and other types of support if we are using some third party things. For the front end, we can use Visual Studio Code, Sublime, and it. Uh, so, Sublime or v Visual Studio Code is the most usable. ID here to design the front end or to write the front end code, so you should have knowledge about the front end uh, VS code. <clears throat> Next thing, we have a project management tool. Like, if you want to be a or like a full stick development, full stick developer, you should have a knowledge about the Maven. Like, these days, the 90% Java application is running over the Maven, so you should have a knowledge about the Maven or Grader. For the for the back end so maven uh, going to help to uh, create the like uh, to create a configuration file for your project or you can say the build automation uh, tool maven is a build automation tool so whenever you create a new project it will create it will generate a pom.xml file where you can manage all the things so the versions and lots of things are there mm -hmm. And for the uh, front end things you should have a knowledge about the npm npm is something that by the using of the npm you can install the new plugins or new support in your application and this come under the node <coughs> and uh, project deployment tool so uh, what is a deployment actually the deployment is a thing where you are going to live your application where everyone can access like currently if you are working over the local host it means you can only access your application but something that uh, application go into the live domain and live server and everyone can at any location can access it so you should have uh, knowledge about the aws azure or Heroku, any uh, deployment um, tool available into the market the most usable is aws and azure for the java domain so uh, so these are the things so uh, in, at, at, at the end if you are want to conclude these things how to become a Fullistic Java developer, you should have a knowledge Spring Boot, Hibernate, React.js, AngularJS, or Vue.js. So Spring Boot is a common a, a Spring Boot is a common tool and it's the most usable tool into the industry. So you should have a knowledge about the Spring Boot and another thing, React or Angular. Okay, so to 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 connect the database transactions, um, you should have a knowledge Hibernate or JPA to sign up for. So thank you for watching and if you want more videos and if you have any question related to the Java and you can put the question into the comment we'll try to create a new video on that and we'll explain the topic in an easy way. Thank you.